so how's the new background if you liked it do definitely tell me in the comment box below only 90 percent of the work is done 10 percent of the work is left but in this video we are not going to talk about this background we are going to talk about the gopro helmet setup that too with the audio yes you heard that right so what's up wonderful people i am back with another new video i hope everyone of you is doing absolutely great so in this video as you all know i was facing issue while vlogging with the gopro or doing moto vlogs with the gopro i was using internal mic so audio is very important as compared to the video again it's my personal perspective and others most of the creators say this that audio is very important for your storytelling as compared to the video quality audio is much important because audio has that power to tell the story so anyways now talking about the setup before that i want to inform you few important things while you are while you purchase the gopro gopro to once you purchased then sg card battery this kind of issues will come so if you are using battery then you can use power bank or definitely you can purchase two or three more batteries that's a simple task but when it comes to an sd card that's the one issue that last time if you remember i'll show you the sd cards which i use right now it's basic but very important information so if you remember when i purchased the gopro that time when i did unboxing and all i was using this sandisk ultra 64 gb now what was the problem with this sd card so most of the gopro users recommend to use the extreme pro sd card why because even i face the same issue that's why i am telling you because i was using continuously using gopro for a month and i was facing issues of the camera was not switching off whenever i used to switch in different mode like time warp mode photo mode it was not switching it was taking time at least two to three seconds then i thought it might be some fault in the system or in the camera then after that i got to know that it's not this uh, fault in the camera or in the system it's fault with the sd card then i talked to the most of the gopro user then they told me to go with this one so this is the sd card which i got so this is sandisk extreme pro variant i i'll show you it again with the proper focus so this is the sd card which i use this has good write and upload speed as compared to the ultra variant and after using this sd card yeah, literally i am using this for almost 10 15 days from now and till now i didn't face any issues with this card seriously you have to go with this sd card if you are purchasing gopro camera especially i don't know about the other action cameras but you have to go with the extreme pro because this has a good uh, read and write speed even if i if i show you the packet of the sd card it's torn please don't mind the torn if you can see it's specially made for 4k ultra hd and especially for the drones and action cameras so this sd card is specially for the drones and action cameras so please go with this one so please don't waste money on the ultra variant sd card but i didn't purchase when i got the gopro but i already had this sd card that's why i use this one now talking about the gopro audio setup it was totally a disaster for my budget yeah i was finding for cheaper alternatives but literally i can't find any of these now if i talk about so finally i got this gopro adapter so this is not even the size of a big that dairy milk katana it's not even the size of that it's so small yeah just the size of a big toffee that's it and the wire coming out and this thing costed me around 4000 rupees what what the f yes you heard that right 4000 rupees for this much of adapter air gopro can you give me please can you give me the explanation here why this thing is so costly but it is having the type c cable uh, type c port and the 3.5 mm mic jack so for, but for this year i don't know why they are charging so huge so let me tell from where did i get this adapter so i got this from tr goba and sons camera store which is located in palika bazaar connaught place and uh, this costed me around the guy who was sitting there he told firstly he told me the price of 4300 but somehow i bargained and below 4000 he was not going and this is the bill that i have you can i purchased this on 20th of october and today it's 6th of november if you can see this uh, if possible i'll try to upload the screenshot even yeah and you yeah, are talking about the price in online online was also very expensive especially on amazon it was 7500 if possible i'll try to upload the screenshot so now let's start with the audio setup what all things you need for gopro audio set motor vlogging setup so first of all gopro is a necessary and then you need this uh, 
type of case this is a door for the case so this is the case by Ulanzi that I purchased on the first day when I got the GoPro and what's the speciality of this case is this is having the slot for the adapter so you can put in the adapter and on the go you can just plug the cable over here and you are good to use this and yeah i have one more may ways if you do if you don't have that budget to spend on the case so definitely one thing you can do is you can paste velcro on this one side and the other part of the velcro you can paste it on the helmet so do it according to your adjustments again so that's the one jugad that you can do and mic i'll tell you which mic i'm using so mic is already plugged into my helmet i'll show you that so this is the mic where i plugged the the extra wire is out a bit and the sponge is coming out and uh, this is the mic where i have plugged in if you can see this i have put it like this and the wire is out on this side so i can plug in the plug this jack into the adapter so this is how it looks and if you want to see the wiring how i did the wiring it you can see the screenshot on the screen i mean the photo where when i was washing the paddings that time i took out took the paddings out and clicked the photograph of that and now let's talk about uh, the mounts that you need we'll go come on to the step by step because it's the video i'm providing is step by step because it will be useful for you all and please don't skip the video because I am covering most of the important points possible here. So I hope you will find this very helpful. First of all you need this kind of mount that you get with the GoPro camera. You Instead of that you can use J-hook also but J-hook looks like this if possible I will try to picture it here. You definitely need a J-hook. I, I had a J-hook but that's broken so I am using this. It's still fine you can go with this one. And you need three screws like this. Definitely you must have and you need these kind of two mounts like this if possible i i don't know the names of these mounts you need these two type of mounts so chalo, let's start with the go motor vlogging setup let's shift on to the work table you need to open the door like this very softly so you can see it comes out so keep this door safe so now after removing this door the gopro is no more waterproof so get the get in the camera like this and uh, just plug it in and you are good to go now next part is taking the adapter and uh, put it like this make sure the cable is this is the tricky part that you have to do it very safely so somehow i took it out and now plug the type c cable into the type c port so i'm showing this step by step so those who are not able to understand so they can understand this very easily now this setup is almost ready now now let's come on to the third step now let's move on to the third step basically now mounting this mount so first of all make sure now first of all you have to use this one like this and yeah make sure that this silver part is towards the rubber part of this or towards this mount i don't know why it's not going upwards so yes this is the most difficult part that you need to take care of now finally it's here somehow i plugged it like this but itna bhi dhyan rakho ki this doesn't go too much close so i can hear some cracking sounds so I'm taking so seal this 100% and now the second part that you have to do is plug it like this one the second one so you have to mount it like this because again this the bolt will strike the wire over there so you have to mount it like this one and make sure at least the bottom this the middle part is 100% tight so the camera doesn't tilt 45 degree or another 30 degrees like that so make sure it's straight 90 percent uh, 90 degrees so make sure this is 100 percent tight now it's tight so i don't think it will tilt it tilt left or right now the last part is to i mean the last part of the mounting audio setup is still left now mount the gopro Make sure this is 95% tightened and 5% loose. 
so that you can adjust the angle like this or this in the position of the so it depends upon the riding position of your bike or and types of activities that you are going to do so again it depends on your personal perspective in which angle you want so you can adjust it that accordingly now we'll come on to the audio setup so now before going with the audio setup this is very important thing that you must know whenever you are using gopro with external mic you make sure of these two things so if you see these two jacks very closely this so this is no called uh, trrs jack whereas this one is called trs jack so if i just show you so let me explain about this trs jack so this one is having tip on the top and two rings so this one will work with the gopro whereas this is the normal plug uh, normal 3.5 mm which is known as trrs so i didn't tell you what the trs stands for tip ring and sleeve whereas the trrs stands for tip ring ring sleeve so make sure that you have trs adapter otherwise if you use this jack then definitely it will the go audio will not work or the mic will not work so let me show you this one is having if you see it closely let me show it closer to you if you uh, see this uh, it's not focusing again if you notice this closely this one is having three rings if i directly plug onto the gopro it will not work so it's a good good gesture by meno that they have provided the adapter with it so now what you have to do just plug in the adapter uh, the my the the trs adapter this is the trs adapter plug in the trrs so now plug in the trrs jack into the trs jack i mean yeah the trs now it's done now finally you can plug it onto the gopro and definitely you can get some good audio and now that's the time when audio works so make sure of this thing because this is very very important if you use this three ring type on your gopro then this will not work only the two rings the which is known as trs this will work now the simple step is now plug in your gopro like this again that too with soft hands so this is how the GoPro uh, motor vlogging setup will look like once you put in the helmet, check in the side angle. So definitely I am not able to breathe when visor is put on. And again I have to tell that you can adjust the angle like this according to the post position of your riding posture position of your bike you can adjust the angle. So let me take out this helmet but in a different way. Oh, yeah. This thing, this is one problem. In three, in three, two, one. Whoa, oh, that was dope. So now you can look at this setup, yeah, it looks so cool. So yes, whatever products I have used in this video, link to all in the description if you are interested to purchase you can check that out and even if you are staying in Delhi and one more thing if you get the cheapest adapter anywhere in India and the person who is supplying all over India then definitely do tell me in the comment box because it will be helpful for the other GoPro users who has eager to purchase it so yeah video samples you didn't see right so first of all you will see two to three video samples First, uh, first sample will be from the internal mic of the GoPro and the second and third sample, the second sample is on the normal speed which I recorded with the external mic of Mano AU400 so we'll check that and the third sample is on the higher speeds in the higher speed also I record, recorded so I wanted to basically check the audio The roads are really filled I don't know how will be the audio coming so I am very nearby to that place I, oh, so I have to take U-turn and go back home. Again, this is the perfect time for testing the audio. So I hope. Oh, 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 oh! I have fully closed the visor, but still don't think I am able to go through with or without that. After almost 70 kilometers an hour. 
80 km per hour 90 and audio is very very windy i can feel wind noise coming inside now let's take up more oh my god oh. 100 km per hour so yes i hope you for you like that sample videos and yeah i have to give one more update most probably on the next week i am going for a short ride you that vlog will be out on 15th of november mostly i'll post that on 15th of november i am going on almost on 12th or 13th of november before diwali we are going for the short ride to vlog bhi aayega if you want more information regarding this ride make sure to follow me on instagram i keep updating everything over there by the way i hope you found this video very useful if you do found this video helpful make sure to drop that like button because it motivates me a lot to make such videos and make sure to subscribe the channel till then see you soon take care stay safe